In the previous video we were adding musical image to internal singing while playing. And today we're moving to the next step, we're adding musical form to internal singing. Again, the task here is playing both hands with correct wrist and elbow movements while imagining every single note in timbre harmony dynamics voicing with movement resound in between notes, internally sing with musical speech phrasing, musical image and form while playing. Imagination part and hand movements will be already in the muscle, memory sensation, they will come along naturally while you play. So basically all you have to focus is mostly on the new principles that you're learning. Form of music helps to distribute energy within the whole piece. Just like phrasing was helping with distributing energy within uh, phrasing blocks. And that's why it helps to grasp and embrace the structure of the whole piece, letting both performer and listener feel the flow of storyline during the whole piece. So, if you want to make your playing be less boring <laughs> and static, then always use phrasing and form. Also, you can watch my playlist titled The Piano Well Program to know and study this principle thoroughly. Uh, again, keep in mind that musical form can be done even without any other principles of the system except intonation and weight because you need those to convey uh, musical form while playing. And for those who are starting this new principle, here is a step-by-step -step guide how to make it. Uh, so again, we're going to make the same routine as we did in our steps with intonation, musical speech, phrasing and image, but this time adding musical form. First, working only with melody, focusing only on singing, not paying attention to imagination or phrasing. We separate the layers. So here we're actually going to use musical image as well, by default, adding a musical form to it. So basically we need some soft substance, because form is like a feeling of structural music, but we also need to, to make it in the context of some image. So um, let me just show you how different it feels like when I'm going to sing the same melody in a musical image, but in a different parts of form. Like if you open the score, hmm, you can notice that uh, those big capital letters, <laughs> they, they are for beginning development, rising to climax, climax, right? So uh, the first line is beginning. Third line, the same melody, is development. On the second page, the first line is rising to climax. And third line is climax. And all is with the same melody. So let's see how it sounds. Okay. I'm gonna sing them in a row, okay? I'm just gonna sing the same pattern, okay? Because those embellishments I don't need. So rising to climax. And the climax. Oh, 
the development of the same team and uh, this intensity is like I said in the beginning it's how you distribute energy so that's why when I play you can probably hear the whole story behind this piece So again, to develop this sensation, you can make the same routine, like I said previously, sing out loud, then sing together with your play, then sing internally, then sing internally and play. I'm not going to show because I show this so many times. Um, then when again this sensation is settled, so you can internally sing while playing and you can definitely feel the vibrations of form that you're expressing. Uh, now you can add the layers of imagination and uh, phrasing. <laughs> uh, so this is exact order of what to think about before and while playing. Feel before starting playing, you feel image and form. And sometimes I like to uh, quickly uh, kind of embrace the whole part. So in my mind, I would go through every single part of the form very quickly, like, okay, what is the structure of the whole piece? Just like you did with the structure of phrasing, you give this overview. Oh, okay, so this is, okay, this is how it goes. Beginning development, rising to climax, climax, Rising to climax, climax, and conclusion. So again, beginning development, rising to climax, climax, rising to climax, climax, and conclusion. So you go through this couple of times till it becomes very small and compact in a way, solid in your mind, like a small. Now you know, uh, when you think about the piece, it's just like a very small spot in your mind. So this is, when it happens, then you know you can embrace the whole piece, you know the whole story. Um, so sometimes when I give myself this kind of overview, it gives me better sensation of, for example, beginning. Because if I know rising to climax, climax feeling, then I know the beginning feeling. I know the beginning is going to be very neutral, um, um, Nothing is really happening yet in the beginning, so there is no storm in the ocean. Everything is quite calm with zero energy. So I tune into image and form. Okay, I gather weight while bringing hands to the keyboard. I imagine first couple of notes and start playing, expressing image form and phrasing through intonation in between notes. All right, so this is how, um, you know what, I'm just going to play both hands right away to show you. But basically, when you are again stable with your right hand, then you would go to your left hand and do the same thing. First, maybe separate layers, just play with image and form. When it's settled, add imagination and phrasing and play again. Okay, so... Let's see. I'm just going to play the very first beginning um, with zero energy. development so let's say from here
right into climax. So I bring more passion, something is about to happen. Let's go to the next step. 